Hi everybody! Let's start by saying that I'm really sorry for having gotten so behind again. I'm really good at that. It's just a gift. What can I say? I guess the reason is that I've lately been starting work at 5am and it's been really it's really totally screwed up my sleeping pattern. It's very easy to screw up your sleeping pattern and it's not so easy to correct it. It's kind of meant that I keep falling asleep during the day and like missing whole days and I'm not getting a heck of a lot of stuff done. When I do sleep, I just sleep way, 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 way too much. Like I think I slept for like 20 hours, I slept for like 13 hours the other day. And the thing is I usually only sleep about 6 hours so that's quite unusual for me. I'm quite prone to like anemia so I think I'm anemic again. It has genuinely taken me several days to do this video because sort of about you know this time it's about it's about lunchtime now. Lunchtime rolls around and my brain's like all right just uh, it's sleep time now. I'm trying to fight that is like fighting the tide. No amount of coffee or caffeine seems to help. So yeah convincing myself that I feel amazing. Here we are. Sorry I'm so tired uh, but I do promise I've got some more articulate stuff <laughs> coming up soon. Anyway I'll shut up and let's Go. How can I do? What sort of like little intro can I do? No 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 Batmail! Batmail! Yeah. The thing is my house is called the Belfry in my my social circle. Like everybody's house has a name pretty much. Our house is the Belfry. I guess we're Belfry bats and that's kind of what I call you guys as well actually. You're like the other Belfry bats. In my head you are. I want to start by saying an extra special big thank you to Chloe, Missy, Tasha and Magella. I said your name right. Magella. Thank you guys so much for your letters. It's so freaking exciting. Like I get like a text message that says that there's something in the parcel pod so I'm like eee! and run along to the parcel pod and it's just like so freaking exciting. Thank you guys so much for your letters. Oh my gosh, Magella, thank you for sending me your ghost story. It was so freaking scary. <laughs> that seriously gave me the creeps. Like I sat there and I read it in the train station, like my, the parcel port is in the train station. When it got to the part about, shush, the baby's sleeping, I just went, <gasps> and all these people like turned around and looked at me. Tasha, when your parcel came, I kind of, I picked it up and I did that thing that people do. What is it? Like, oh, okay, I really wanted to save these things to open them in a video but like I'm just not patient enough for that. <laughs> Maybe I will like next time or something but I'm just yeah, way too excited and I can't wait for stuff like that. Is it what I think it is? Is it possibly what I think it is? And when I opened it up, oh my god! Candy corn! Ah! Thank you so much. I'm so freaking excited I can't wait to try it. Life changing experience. <laughs> So thank you guys so very much. I'm preparing a little something special for y'all. Just FYI. Anyway, so as this is also um, a monthly favourites video, I'll get on to... Well, this one's my monthly favourites video because I didn't do one last month. Yeah, I know, whatever. It's like halfway through September. Who cares? This is coming out really overexposed. Like, I don't... Even, sorry about that. It's just making my, my nose and features disappear. Who needs a nose anyway? Hmm. I mean, I don't even have any lights on here. It's just the sun. Okay. Oh, you know what I've gone and done? I've done that thing where I've taken my glasses off and put them down and now I don't know where they are because I can't see them. I need my glasses to find my glasses. Slick. Okay, so my first favorite thing. Clean and clear, modern burst, skin brightening facial cleanser. I thought it was time that I tried a new cleanser. My old one ran out. The one I was using before, that like Garnier thingy one. I want to try this one because it says on the bottle that it wakes you up. Well it says it wakes you up and yes it does. So the amazing thing about this strange cleanser is not only does it give your face a really good clean and I found it's actually got rid of all my spots amazingly, is that it actually wakes you up. It makes you feel like you've just been smacked in the face. How can I describe it? It's like a breath mint for your whole face. It's like poof! That's the best way I can put it. After you've washed your face, it's like you've just been slapped. My second favourite thing is Vazkov Push-Up Volume Hairspray. I think this is really the last thing I need, but having already got really voluminous hair, but you know, a bit more volume can't hurt, can it? I think they've actually got like a whole range of these things, but this is my new favourite hairspray and it's probably what I'm going to keep buying from now on. Honestly, yeah. Considering it's only got like four out of five on the how strong is this thing? Scale thing. Doesn't seem to matter. It's pretty good. On the subject of hair, L'Oreal have brought out all these fancy, fancy kind of uh, shampoos and conditioners. And once again, this is something I probably don't need, but can't hurt, can it? Uh, so L'Oreal have got these LV Fibrology shampoo and conditioner. And first of all, the bottles are really pretty. Colours. 
which is what actually got my attention first. <laughs> Good old marketing. It's like a thickening shampoo and honestly I'm not a I can't really tell if it's made that much of a difference given my already very thick hair. I don't know, I could say if anything, like after washing my hair it seems floofier than usual. So why not? Definitely a favourite product of note. Something else skincare wise is something that one of my friends got me onto recently. I had no idea these existed. I mean they might be everywhere where you are, I don't know, but I've never seen them before. Oil control? These, that's like oil film things, you know these little like blue bits of paper. This one's a clean and clear oil control film. Couldn't find it in the shops anywhere here. I bought this one off eBay for about two dollars. Thank you to my lovely friend for getting me into these. They're really great. Um, if you if you get oily skin, I mean, I kind of I feel like I must have combination skin or something because I feel like some parts are dry, some parts are oily. Having oily skin is actually kind of a blessing as far as when you age, like you're less likely to get wrinkles and that. But when you're young and you don't, you know, and you get spots and it it, it lifts your makeup off. These are particularly useful if you're at a party or a gig or something and you want your makeup to stay on longer. Uh, you can just sort of gently dab and these little weird blue bits of paper over your face and it just absorbs the oil out of your face. I had no idea they existed and why don't they sell them here? Why? Last favourite beauty product and I sort of hate myself a little bit for liking this so much and for wearing it so often. I'm not wearing it right now because, well, I haven't done my nails at all and they just look terrible. Forgive me. There's an OPI nail polish, it's called I Lily Love You. But you see why I had to get it? It's just this marvellous glittery pink head fuck. But it makes my nails look like beautiful pink opals. So I like it. And uh, I don't know if you could tell but it's about half gone. Which for me is amazing because I don't actually think in history even black nail polishes that I've gone through one nail polish bottle quite so quickly. Hey, as I always do I go through like phases of foods and stuff that I like eat heaps and heaps of until I make myself utterly sick of them like all the other things that I've featured in like monthly favorites or whatever so far are things that I basically haven't touched since then because I made myself like totally sick of them and it'll be a while before I can face them again so here are the things that I'm doing that with now so eating a lot of chocolate for me lately has been kind of problematic I've just been non-stop eating chocolate which is ridiculous because I've been on this like calorie counting let's work out all the time vibe since like the start of the year and it's not going terribly well because I just can't stop eating chocolate. <sighs> anyway, you might have seen me put a picture on Tumblr or Facebook or something, this one, with this lovely pink block of chocolate. Well that is this, Whitaker's hundreds and thousands block. Unfortunately it's only available in New Zealand. I don't actually know if Whitaker's has gone outside New Zealand. It's New Zealand's most trusted brand. They make such nice chocolate. And the idea behind this chocolate is that it's amalgamation between Whitaker's chocolate and these hundreds and thousands of biscuits, which have long since been a New Zealand favourite. So I've been making a lot of these chocolate blocks vanish, and I regret nothing. So one of the things, uh, like I said, I've been kind of calorie counting a little bit and like I said I just can't stop eating chocolate. So one of the things I thought I'd do to combat this is to drink a lot of like low fat hot chocolate. I looked at all the different hot chocolates you could get and this has the fewest calories of all of them. 46 calories per cup. Jarrah, any of them actually, any, pretty much any of the like Jarrah hot chocolates are so delicious. You'd never know that they're almost totally fat free and also like the chocolate orange one and the white chocolate one. Uh, yummy. And my new favourite low fat snack are these, um, the ones they're actually for children, they're called corn tubes. Again I looked at every single different chippy product uh, that there was to see which ones had the lowest calories and these ones do by far and it seems strange to me that they're only marketed for children. I think so many people would go nuts for these because I mean they're actually they're delicious they're Moorish and they've got way 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 fewer calories in them than like most of your normal um, chips and extrusion. I would actually hate to think now how many bags of these I've gone through I mean they're also like you know a little kitty snack size so just incredibly convenient to just grab 
delicious yummy low fat snack and I mean I love eating chips I eat Doritos like they're going to disappear I love Doritos and finally I spilled, I'm so sorry about all this overexposed this I just can't I don't know what to do about it some of you might have heard of the book The Secret by Ron Burn. one of the things I really like to read and have always done so I like self-help books even if you're not needing self-help, they do make you feel good afterwards. You just feel really positive and motivated, at least for a space. And if you start feeling flat again, you can just read another one or read the same one again. This one's probably my favourite of all time. The sort of the stuff that it teaches you is stuff that I already knew and believe. It's just so well put together. And I mean, there's a movie of it as well. Like, if you can't be bothered reading the book, <laughs> there's a movie of The Secret. But the, the book has more detail in it. I could go on and on and on about the teachings of this book. Let me know if you have read it actually and what you thought of it. In a nutshell it's about the power of positive thinking and having I, having ideas, putting them out to the universe and having them manifest in reality back at you. So definitely worth a read if you haven't done so already. Oh well I'm about to go out into this ghastly sunshine. I'm sorry about the like no nos. No, oh, my face just looks like this weird flat white thing. Once again, sorry for being behind. I'll make it up to you. I promise I'll make it up to you. Oh yes, yes I will. I've stopped taking iron again for the sleepiness, so hopefully I will soon again be restored to my usual energetic self. Thank you very very much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. I put out at least two new videos every week. Take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Nom, nom, nom.